And welcome back to another video everybody. Today we are in Microsoft Flight Simulator using the Citation Longitude and I will be doing a quick video on how to start the Citation Longitude. So without further ado, let's get into it. So now we are in the cockpit. So the first thing we are going to do is come down here. We're going to get rid of the yokes. Uh, so we're going to go click on both of them. Then we're going to go down here. We're going to turn left and right battery on. Turn the generators on. And then we're going to jump down here. So first you want to look at this APU. It says 0%. You're going to be watching that. You want to make sure the bleed air on the APU is off this switch. And then you're going to go over to the APU starter knob and turn it two clicks to start. We're going to wait for it to start coming up. So now, so now you see that percentage is rising. After it gets to 98%, you can turn the bleed air to norm and then turn the APU generator on and then we can continue with starting the engines of the airplane. So as we're climbing up here, this is a very straightforward airplane to start. They've changed the starting procedure just a little bit. Alright, now we're at 98%, so we're going to come down here, we're going to turn our APU bleed, this button, to on. And then come over here and turn the APU gen on. And we'll now we'll zoom out. We're going to come over here. We're going to look down. So a very important thing that they've changed with this airplane, you have to open up the fuel valve. So now it says open, so we're going to start the engines. So first you're going to come down here. You're going to click this to run. And then you're going to click this on. You have to turn this off after the, after the engine lights. So now we're up here. you got to watch the N2, which is this, rise. So you'll definitely hear it light off and you'll see the ITT start to rapidly rise. Alright, so now we can turn the starter off and the engine will take care of itself. Now we're going to come down here and do the same exact thing with the right engine. So first we'll close this cover so we don't hit that button. Now we'll run, close the cover, and turn it on. And while both these engines are coming out, we're going to go here and turn up our lights. So we're going to go uh, left landing light, right landing light, taxi light, your nav lights, your pulsing lights. Uh, we don't need the wing lights because we're not looking for icing. We want the anti-collision lights on. Uh, and that's all we need. If you're flying at night, you'll want to turn the panel lights on just by rotating this knob. So we'll just set them for 25%. And we'll turn it a quick look outside the airplane while this happens but you just watch her I mean watch here and make sure it stabilizes and doesn't go into the red if it goes into the red immediately cut off the engines by hitting the run button to stop and turning off the starter but yeah without further ado we have the airplane started and are ready to go fly as soon as this stabilizes we are good to taxi And then we'll just give it a little test by bumping our throttle, and now we, and now they both rise. All right, I'd like to thank everybody for watching this video. Uh, this quick tutorial on how to start the Cessna Citation Longitude in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020.